Hey, this is Patrick, and today I'm going to show you how to install some add-ons in YS Flight. Look at there, there's a fresh copy of YS Flight. This happens to be uh, the test version from last year, uh, last December. Uh, one of the uh, difficulties of some of the, especially the older add-ons, is there wasn't a standardized way of packaging the add-ons. Uh, this is uh, EEE, it's uh, entrance to El Dorado. And this is what the web page looks like. We are, of course, you go to download to download that. I've already downloaded it. So, this is what we do. First, it comes in a zip zip file so you open that uh, I suggest using 7-zip it is free um, then you open it and this comes up and this is what's inside of the zip file you open that and uh, there's another folder you open that okay now you see some stuff you see some readme files okay make sure you read those uh, you got English, you got Japanese. There's an info.txt that I'm not sure what language that is. Uh, probably Japanese though. And my computer isn't set up to open those yet. Alright, so the first thing you see are an aircraft, ground, and scenery folders. Well, uh, you would assume that you just move these folders directly into uh, your YS flight folder right here but let's check the .lst files okay as you can see they actually go in first the eee underscore ys folder so to do that we're going to go back up a level and all we're going to do is drag it over this works in Windows I don't, I don't have any idea about any other uh, operating system but in Windows there you go but see these three files air ground and scenery well, those aren't going to work unless they're in the air ground and scenery folders so what I'm going to do is I'm to make this a little easier, I'm just going to go back over here uh, to the zip file. I'm going to go, well, I'm already there. I'm already here in the uh, main YS flat installation folder. So I'm just going to click on the air and drag it right to the aircraft folder. That's the actual YS flat aircraft folder. The ground, I'm going to drive, uh, grab it and drag it over to ground. Scenery. Guess where I'm putting it in the plugin? No, the scenery folder. Okay, let's uh, see what happens. Open up the YS flat of your choice. I have not opened it before, so uh, this is not the version I usually use. I didn't even read that, I just clicked it. Really bad idea. You should always read those, right? No. We get some. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the airplane that's my default airplane isn't even installed. Okay, so what do we have here? We have. There you go. There you go. It's installed. What about the map? Okay, there's one of them. There's one. They're installed. Okay, let's go back. To, I have, you know, I've never actually uh, used these maps in the last who knows how many years. So I don't even remember what it looks like. Probably fun though. Okay, so I can just fly now. Oh, oh, I do remember. I actually do remember this. Um, I'm going to fly with my controller here. Ooh, look at those frame rates. 
Okay. See, I think what we are, I think we're actually inside. Oh, look at that smoke. Oh, oh, I'm going to hit it. This isn't a review of uh, of this map. <laughs> Just uh, I got distracted and now I'm flying around. Ooh, it's a tunnel. Look at that! Oh, weird, weird effect flying this. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm about to hit a wall. Oh, well, maybe I won't. I feel like I'm cheating now. What if I hit that wall? Oh, you can't actually crash into the wall. That's nice. Okay. Okay. So. Well, that's not good but it is a test version so that happens sometimes with test versions let's install a more typical pack here you'll notice that there's an aircraft and a user uh, also an about file the aircraft guess what's there it's the aircraft.lst file all right so guess what? All we have to do, I don't know what just happened, but sometimes the mouse goes crazy. This time all we have to do is drag them straight across there. Because they're all, the files are already in the file uh, folders, uh, the folder structure that you need, so there you go. And now we have installed Al's aircraft pack. That was easy okay so that's uh, two different ways uh, the safe thing to do is always to check the .lst you'll see exactly the file path you need from your main YSFlat folder where, wherever you have YSFlat installed so there you go goodbye